following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look who oh, we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We going to take him by storm? Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, and it's a long one. It's Memorial Day weekend. Hope everyone has a great one, safe one. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Think about that. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 93. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are down 12. Gold contract down $2.40, trading at 1302 an ounce. Silver down 16 cents, $16.52 an ounce. Copper down two pennies at 307 a pound. Light sweet crude, they're hitting that crude market, down three bucks, $67.79 a barrel. Notes and bonds, 10-year note. Up 14 ticks, 119.30. 30-year bond up a full point, plus two ticks, 143.27. Now, we had out here this week, folks, this is a monster move. You had the notes and the bonds get back inside their higher range, and they got back inside that higher range, folks, with the vengeance. Wide price spread, accelerated volume. The 10-year, the number to get back inside the higher range was 119.14. We're a half a point over that right now. You're at 119.30. Uh, bottom line, Wednesday, we did volume out here of uh, 2.8 million contracts. Yesterday, you did 3.7 million contracts. We're at 2.6 right now. This uh, 10-year is going to be making its way up to 121.12. Uh, bottom line, if we get juice like this, you can expect higher price than that. And, of course, higher price in the bond market is lower yield. Right now, the 10-year is at 2.931, and we were at 3.111 last week. Pretty intense. 30-year bond, same type of setup in the 30. Wide price spread, accelerated volume. The 30 is pretty amazing, actually. Um, the, inside the larger range on the 30 was 141.14. We are two and a half points over that right now. You're at 143.27. Uh, same type of conviction move. The, we On Wednesday, we did 539,000 contracts, which is huge contract volume in the 30. Yesterday, we did 615. You're at 542 right now. This baby's going to make its way up to the 147.02 area. Now, if we go take a look at the... I'm, I'm going to put up the 10-year first in the continuous contract. So let's see what we get here. I'm going to get... Okay, so the reason we want to do the continuous contract is to see exactly where we are at on a weekly basis. So what we did out here, I said put that on a monthly. Okay, so we, when we came down, the, the high of, of the 10-year, well, the high of the 10-year, actually, the low of the rates was uh, 2012. That's in the 10 years at 135. The next high was the uh, July of 2016, two years ago. That was 134. And what the 10-year had done, the bottom line is that that had bought, I believe, did an ABC down. So we got 134. Yeah, you got 11 bucks, which we give you 117. Okay. So the ABC down would have been 117. Now, that's a long-term ABC down. That's an ABC down that started two years ago. I suspect what we have here... The counter trend, the down 
trend is over. What you're going to see here is now this 10-year uh, is going to make a run for 123. Now, what 123 is, it's, it's quite a move up, first off. What it actually is, though, is that that's where we had the second breakdown from. But that, if that's what we get, you're going to see that 10-year uh, get down to about uh, 2.6, um, which is pretty amazing because right now we're at that uh, we're at three and we're over three basically the rest of the, all of the last few weeks. King Dollar, what do we got with King Dollar? What King Dollar is doing is this: King Dollar has held price. Uh, King Dollar right now is trading at 94.115. The price we're talking about was December 12th high. I was trying to make it up to that level, made it up, gave it up, made it up, gave it up, and now you're over that level by about uh, half a penny. What that sets up, if we take a look at King Dollar, what you're gonna see the major swing point out here inside King Dollar uh, is in the 95060 area. And we'll bring that back, put that on a continuous contract too, so you can see how that uh, shakes out. What that is, uh, that number there is the highs that were generated out here in November of 2017. Uh, what you can see, now this is what's gonna get interesting with King Dollar is that you know this month you have wide price spread here so this is a very strong move uh it was a very strong move in april also so bottom line how we come into that it's a big number and if it, if it moves like uh it's been moving you know we can blow that number right away now let's go to the direct correlation uh for that and that would be of course uh the gold market what do we have with gold gold out here uh we had great price spread yesterday we had volume behind the move. What gold has to do is get back inside the 1,315 area, 1314, uh, $1,314, $1,315. Really, I really want to see this thing somewhere uh, up about 1320 So, uh, Because once you get back inside an area, you want to go into that area, as the bonds did, with conviction. You don't want to go into an area that you're busting out of um, just making it. That is not how uh, that baby can get to higher price and sustain higher price. Now, if we take the gold market and we put this on a continuous contract, bottom line is that this is not backed off. This is a, this is a good looking chart inside a continuous contract. We know we've been at the exact same place in gold um, since June of 2016. So we're approaching two years uh, on this consolidation. This is what the difference is. From 2016 and from July of 2016 uh, to December, you had a deep retracement. Gold went from a 1377, we went down to 1123. This year, we got back up to that, uh, in September, we got back up to the price point of 1358 and a very shallow retracement. You came down in December to 1239, and we'll be going sideways. This is sideways move is saying, number one, it wants to hit the 1377. And if we break that with volume, you get big action. 13, if this 1377, folks, you break that, you are going to be moving up to 1602. So this thing is setting up for a move. Bottom line, we'll see how much uh, patience uh, I can have. We have uh, all the market participants have. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow down 84. Nasdaq's up 2. S&P's are down 11. Come right back. The TFNN Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Special has just been announced. For one week only, we're doubling the bonuses that we normally give out with any Tiger Dollar purchase. Normally, when you purchase Tiger Dollars, you can receive a 10, 15, or 20% bonus with your purchase, but through Memorial Day only, we've doubled the bonuses to 20, 30, and even 40%. This is one of the best Tiger Dollar sales that we offer, and they only come around a couple times a year, so don't let it pass you by. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN newsletter or service, and they never expire. So whether you're already a subscriber and want to add savings to your monthly or yearly subscription, or you're thinking about signing up for anything in the future, now is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars. For all the details on the Memorial Day Tiger Dollars special, visit the front page of TFNN.com before this deal ends May 28th.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go take a look at some of the uh, futures out here, particularly the uh, oil and gasoline. So, crude oil today, folks, getting hit by 4%. Uh, gasoline's down 2%. Let's go over to the crude market first. So crude's gone from $70.80 down into $67.49. And this is one monster move. You talk about a turn here. Holy cow. So monster volume. Uh, we get uh, 900,000 contracts in this move. Um, we are back right now to, uh, six, uh, let's see, April 18th. Bottom line is that six hours uh, took you back uh, one month. Big number. Now, this is what's going to be intriguing here is that what we actually did, uh, you know, we talk about moves with conviction. Well, this baby here, no, it didn't break that one. Okay, so let's see what trend line it broke. It broke the trend line, yeah, with conviction from, uh, from 61 to 63. So we get game 61 to 63 right now. That's how this is shaking out. Let's go take a look at this, and we put this on a continuous contract. Okay, so bring this back. Okay, so what we've done, you're coming, let's see, 75. We never hit the 75. We hit... We had 72.83. So the 75 level, folks, was the lows of 2011, the lows of 2012. Uh, you hit 73. Now, what would happen is this. Until we get back inside $66 and uh, approximately 50 cents, that is just saying, hey, you got a little pullback. You know, this is a straight line move from $42 up to 72. You go back to $42, this is amazing, actually, um, last June. Then you went sideways. So let's see this one. What's 26 30 bucks? Wow, you know what it just did? Okay, so check this out. This is amazing, actually. Oil, would have been nice if I saw this before. This is what you have here, folks. Oil just finished a two-year ABC up. Way to see this. This is like pretty sick that it's actually almost right to the dollar right off the lows too you, you low out here on the continuous contract 
uh, $26.05. That was established, hard to comprehend, but February of 2016. So you get $26.05. Your B's up at 55. Let's just call it 56. Um, yeah, you get 30 bucks. Let's say $29 to be exact. Your C is 42. That gives you $71. A to B equals C to D. This this will you we're, we're going to get a decent pullback now because when you when you finish particularly a much longer ABC structure, whether you're going up or whether you're going down. In this case, that's almost a two-year ABC. Yeah, it is. It's a two and a half year ABC structure that just finished. The um, let's go take a look at that gasoline market and see if we have the same thing. So gasoline whole, wholesale right now is two twenty one. No, sorry, two eighteen. XB one. XB one. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Put this on the same type of monthly. So your A point would have been 90 cents. Your B is 177. So we got uh, 80, which you get to 240. Yeah, you get 228. That's just about finished. Navy C structure up too. Let's go to Stanley. Hey, Stanley, what's going on? I can't believe you're not out fishing. How you doing, man? Good. Good. Good to hear from you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can't believe they got you working the last shift today. I thought you'd be out fishing. Oh, you should see the weather here. Isn't the weather bad where you are too? I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. It's gonna rain for three days. Oh well, actually, it's, it's humid today, but it's not bad yet. So. That's uh, why you're not out fishing. I thought you had they had you chained to the desk. No, it just, it just started. It just started, It just started raining about an hour ago. Yeah, it's not bad yet, but we're gonna get we're getting that uh, low uh, pressure coming in, and we'll see whether it turns into a storm. You know. Yeah, I heard about that. Hey, since you're talking about oil, maybe you could tell me why STO Stat Oil will not go down. Look at it today uh, in relation to the rest of the market. Okay, so that's E N no E Q N R. One second. There's a new ticker on that, right? Yeah, E Q N R. E Q N R. Okay, so let's see. Well, no, it's down. No, I, I'm looking at uh, Stat Oil, the Norwegian company. Okay, hold it. The symbol is S T O. S T O. Yeah, but they changed the the ticker. Okay, you, I mean, I'm not I'm not doubting. Yeah, it. no, this is the Norwegian company. It's yeah. it's E Q N R now. Um, well, I mean, it's not down a lot, but in three days, it's down from what twenty seven dollars to twenty five. Okay, I got on the screen here. It's at twenty seven fourteen, up five cents. Yeah, I think what's happening there, Stanley, uh, is that that's see when I put that up. The one you gave me, yeah, that's that was. Uh, let's see, oh, May seventeenth. That was May May seventeenth. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what's the new symbol, Tom? So it's E Q N R. Okay. Well, that explains a lot. So it is down. I because. Really, okay. So yeah, I'm it's, not, for an listen, oil it's not that bad though. I mean, you know. It's, yeah, I just it's don't down know what with the other so oil. Strong. Yeah, it is strong. It is. I mean, this the stock. You know, if we bring it back to last June, it was sixteen dollars here, twenty-five, and you get a lot of support. I mean, this thing can go to twenty-four, forty-five. You know, well, that doesn't kill you. It's not the end of the world. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was looking for an oil play. That's all. And uh, oh, don't don't do it yet because no, what's I, going I on? that. But yeah. you know, and I would always go in and out of Exxon, and I stayed away from Exxon. Listen yeah. to you and Andy now. Do you have any suggestions other than well, Stat Oil was one I was looking at. I would I would just wait for this. You know, I what you have here. Well, 
You have the oil contract itself. Just when I went through it, it finished a two-year ABC up. So yeah. that's when you have large ABC structures on the way up or the way down, you can expect this thing's going to correct for a while. Then on top of that, the Saudis said, hey, guess what? We're going to basically bring prices down, you know, they're saying in the next six months. I think they're, they're I suspect what you have, they want to get that IPO out next year. So they're not going to get everyone totally flipped out. Um, they'll probably keep between, I don't know, you know, 50 to $70. Okay. Okay. Um, if we go over to, let's just go take a look at the XLE, because the XLE failed to break out again. They got over the highs, came back inside. The you know, the XLE can get down to like 71 bucks. I just, would, I just waited you... out, Stanley. Okay. Hey, Have Tom, a great weekend, great man. To hear, great to hear your voice. You too, man. Have a great no one. Matter Have a safe one. No what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics, including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most widely traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how Everbank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? Everbank promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank as a member FDIC and equal housing lender. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, back folks. We have the uh, Dow down 59, Nasdaq's up 10, S&P's are down 7. You got markets flattening out for the holiday weekend, folks. And we talk about the holiday weekend. This is the last weekend uh, that we have our Tiger Dollar special on. So uh, if you have any product at TFNN right now, you're looking to get any in the future, this is the sale that you want to take advantage of, folks. We do this a couple, well, we used to do it more than a couple times a year. Right now, we've been doing it a couple times a year. Uh, and what it is, it's the Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Special. Uh, there's an added bonus in this special this year. Uh, well, this, per, this, uh, this time that we're doing it, this promotion that we're doing it on. And the way that it works is that Tiger Dollars are good for all product at TFNN, totally transferable, no expiration date. Uh, the way it works is that you can buy $500 with the Tiger Dollars, 
you get six. That's a 20% bonus. You can buy a thousand, you get thirteen hundred, a three hundred dollar or thirty percent bonus, and the max is you can buy fifteen hundred and get six hundred dollars extra, twenty one hundred dollars, which is a forty percent bonus. So check it out in the front page of TFNN. This will be over this coming Monday, Memorial Day. We got a real treat for you right now. Friday, we normally have uh, Dave White. Dave's on vacation. Well, guess what? We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, with us. And folks, don't forget, every trading day right here, Basil does an outstanding workshop, an outstanding show, rather. Uh, bottom line, that show is from 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time every day. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. The way you can get the opening call, you come over to our website at TFNN. You go up to newsletters. You go to trading newsletters. You'll see the baby right there. 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great. Ready for a good weekend? Oh, yeah. In fact, uh, it's beautiful out. This is the kind of weather you're always talking about. We don't Sweet. get it that often, but we got it That's a beautiful got it event. Now. Cool. So, yeah. I see we got the, uh, I think we got the Dow Industrials up. Is that got, what I'm looking at? We got the, we actually, we got the dollar up Is right now. Is that the now. dollar? Okay, thought, cool. Yeah, I thought okay. this would be interesting. So, a couple of things here. The dollar um, has been correcting in, intraday, but it's still holding. In my technique, I love to use the nine-period exponential moving average. That's that black moving average, that yes. black line right there. And look yeah. how it's kind of walked ever since we've been long since, uh, I think it was the 6th of April down at the 90 level through the UUP, which is the trading vehicle. And it's, look, the dollar's trading at 94.16 now. It just, it won't give up. Um, you know, when currencies trend, even though, even if it's a sideways trend, they t tend to trend for months and months. They do. So this, this is going to be an important breakout because it's bumping into very strong resistance. And this is what subscribers to my opening call and I were looking at. The 94.22 was the high back in right here. You can see it in the weekly chart back in December or mid-December of uh, 2017. So that whole 94, the low 94s was very strong resistance. And then it just broke down and went down to 88.25. Now we've made this U. It just looks exactly like a U-shaped pattern. Um, and it's like a deep cup and it's come back. And we are now trading uh, right at 94.15. We're trading at that level. And intraday, we've gone to 94. I think it was 30, uh, 94.25. So we went three cents above that level of resistance. This is very important. And uh, I think it speaks to the strength of the dollar. When, and maybe it's also short covering because I, I believe at one point there was a very heavy short position. So this is going to be very interesting because this was the week that the dollar really had an opportunity just to take a breather. Nobody would have said anything if it went from the 93 level down to the low 92s, and instead it's held very well. So we, we've been long, and we're happy about that. And we, we still long the Dow from uh, quite a bit lower down, and uh, the Dow is holding up well. And also I had a signal intraday today to say there was a good chance that within two days, I call it my Chapman Wave trim gauge. I use okay. Richard Arms, uh, take, uh, his, his whole methodology. I just use it for particular numbers. That I look at for years, I've been looking at them. So it was a high reading, and that usually says that within two days we should get a spike to the upside of nine to eleven points in the E-mini futures, which should help the uh, the, the S&P and then the Dow intraday to rally. So that's a kind of a positive thing. You know, we've used up time from this peak D in the Chapman Wave uh, Ds, where we always look for yes. something else to happen, and yet it's held sideways. And this is the pattern that I'm going to be talking about. On Tuesday night, I'm, I'm giving a, I'm the guest speaker. I'll just show it over here if I can. Special speakers meeting, Basil Chapman. This is for the Boston Investors Group. Uh, oh, cool, on, yes. For years and years. For years yeah. I've been speaking there. So uh, we have a lot of tigers that always show up, uh, you know, just people who have been listening or, 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 or subscribers, and so it's great, especially now that we're having the tiger, the tiger dollars sale. This is a perfect time for them to be considering TFNN. So anyway, I'll be speaking there and we're going to be discussing the markets, what we're looking at, what sectors have held well, what sectors do I anticipate in 2018 will actually have a very good run to the upside, what what sectors are cooling down. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, so it starts at 7 o'clock. It's at the MIT building, yeah. Massachusetts Institute of Technology over in Cambridge. It's building E51 
room 335, 7 o'clock to 9 p.m. Um, on Tuesday, May the 29th. That's the first uh, day we come back after the long weekend. And it's in Cambridge, Mass., the 70 Memorial Drive. It's pretty, they, you can, they can just go to uh, check this out. They can Google it and they'll find the directions. Uh, I've got it right here, and it's just, it's pretty easy to get to. So uh, that, I'm that's, to that's that. the same room they've been in forever, huh? For a long time, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, uh, we're very lucky to get that. And one of the, one of the things... Um, I mean, I haven't been... I left Boston 20 years ago, and I remember going over there. <laughs> yeah, so isn't that interesting? You know, it's interesting. I think that for to, to go to MIT, you actually need a degree from MIT to go because there's a labyrinth. I don't know how they find those rooms. There are tunnels and there are... That's funny, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you, you really need a map. So anyway... It'll, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I've done this for years. I've done it when, the, when this particular society was named differently. It's really part of the Investors Business Daily Group. But right. there's a spin-off that's called the Boston Investors Group. So I'm really looking right. forward to it. And nice. I get questions. I, uh, some people are fundamental. Some people are technical. So I get questions right across the board that I have to really think hard about. So it's really exciting because it, it really pushes me to the limit of, why, areas that maybe I thought of at the back of my mind, now I have to push them to the front of my mind. So we'll be talking about the dollar, we'll be talking about the dollar, and this is this is a very this was the week that the dollar really could have taken a breather because gold sure. uh, looked as if it was ready, and it had a little bit of a pop. Gold, in fact, for subscribers, we did buy the GDX. Uh, we're still up a little bit, but uh, it hasn't done as well as it should so far. Um, it had a great two days, and now it's given back some. So this is going to be an interest. This was an interesting week in order to assess, for instance, we are still along the SMHs, which is the semiconductor index, and that's the, um, we, we have the three, three times long S, SOXL, so okay. we're up about 20% 20, 20%, and I was expecting that the semiconductors at this particular point would have a bit of a rest, just like the dollar, they, and they did have a, they had one, two, three, four, five days before they broke to another recovery high, now they're in leg D, um, the SMH is up 108 at 10824, and you can see this chart on the on, in the middle. This is the weekly chart, and that says, okay, now you got to watch out for that potential for a, a double head and shoulders pattern. Not one of my favorite patterns, but when it does, uh, when it happens, you got to be very careful about the decline to the downside. But the weekly chart is still looking good. I mean, the yeah, Basil, just, just stay there. Just stay there one sure. second. We're going to bring you, bring you right back. Now, folks, okay, so if you're Googling, you can Google Boston Investors Group, 7 p.m. Uh, I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's going to be there. We're going to go over this one more time before uh, we, we sign up. Stay right there, folks. Basil and I are coming right back. Dow's down 60, Nasdaq's up 8, S&P's are up 7. Coming right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. 
Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Basil Chapman, and Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and a problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow down 76. Nasdaq's up three. S&Ps are off nine. Don't forget, folks, uh, bottom line, this is the last uh, few days that you can get Tiger Dollars if you... I uh, do have any of the newsletters at TFNN. You're looking to get any in the future. This is the way you can save a good amount of money. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. I think we're going to be talking notes and bonds. Correct. Yes. So within the context of looking at uh, four higher peaks to give you that alphabet that goes peak A, peak B, peak C, and peak D, Yes. That fourth highest peak where other, is where other things can happen. Yes, it can continue higher, but this is where we do an assessment of what's the chances of continuing. If you look at the weekly chart, this, the white, uh, I know it's not great because it's a black background, but if you look at the white uh, notation right here, this is the 30 year TYX. That's the 30 year yield. Okay. And it finally went to a leg D. And there's no question that between now and 4 o'clock today, 15 minutes, I don't think it's going to go to higher than 32.47. So this is going to be a peak D. But look at the strength of the strong candle down today, uh, this week. Look at the TY, TNX, which is the 10-year yield, the brown one. That is uh, at a peak F. Uh, and look at the cyan one, which is also down very sharply. That's the five-year T-note yield FVX. My thinking here is that I was anticipating that until we get that D in the weekly chart, we could have higher yields. But once we get the D, that's where we could have a much uh, longer, I don't know about deeper, but a longer consolidation. So I'm, in the, I'm now in the, in the camp that says yields probably have reached a high at this particular point. And they could start to pull back a little bit over the uh, coming few weeks. I've already pulled back somewhat, but I am looking at it and saying maybe now we're looking at an upside resistance in the yields, which means that the TLT, and I'll go to the TLT, could in fact have a pretty nice move here. Now, this is, creates a little bit of a conflict for me because my thinking has been that if the T bonds rally sharply, that's very often because the market is very shaky and people are starting to take money out of equities, the volatility of equities, and putting into the so-called safety of bonds. So this means that I've got to watch this very, very closely. And it's part of the, the analysis that I'm going to do at my presentation next week on Tuesday night. But what I am looking at is this is a very strong move going just, what, five, one, two, three, four, five, about seven sessions ago, the TLT, the Lehman a uh, uh, 20 year treasury bond ETF is trading at 116.09, and today it's at 119.78. That's a pretty quick and a pretty big move. Oh, yeah. So I mean, these things move with the velocity, too. I mean, it's, it's pretty intense, yes. you know, and, and, and it's particularly intense. You know, the Fed is bottom line, you know, saying, hey, listen, we're going up in June and short term basis points again. But guess what? The market is uh, saying, well, you can go up as much as you want right now. Uh, we're going to buy these bonds. Uh, we think rates are going down. So this is going to. This is a. 
This is the, it, it would be a total mind blower, Basil, if once again, everyone thinks that rates, this is going to be the time they go up and they don't. It was going to be like crazy, right? right. But <laughs> i tell you what's interesting, because if you look at the HGX, which is the Philadelphia Housing Index, it's kind of rallying here. But the weekly chart technically has started to improve a little bit. So this is going to be important because if yields start to pull back, there'll be a lot of people say, hey, you know what? Summertime, I, I, this is the time to be looking at houses. So maybe we'll see because Toll, uh, Toll Brothers had a, look, that's a nice candle right there after being smashed the other day. This is a nice bounce back. So I'm watching this very closely because the housing stocks like Toll Brothers, um, and uh, what was the other one that we had? We BZH. We were short that for quite a while. Made Visa, quite a bit of yeah. money on that. Yeah, that's B Visa Homes. Um, yeah, that's if they can rally a little bit here. Yeah, I think that the the market always needs somewhere to go. Fund managers are always looking for a place to put their money. So I'm going to be watching this very closely. And look at look, they've been des. I mean, look at this. Uh, Visa Homes goes from twenty three dollars in November down to 14 it deserves a, a bit of a breather it deserves some kind of a bounce and these are really good companies it's not like well, there's anything yeah wrong. no i'm with you there but bees is the weakest bees the weakest toll, toll is really i think am yeah. i wrong i think toll is one of the one of the more reputed ones yeah, yeah. What, what happened with bees is that during the depression and you can see it you know the other equities they got back to their all-time highs where if you take yes, a look at bees what you're going to see is that Bees, that would have been $410. And what the difference huh. was is that they didn't take their stop loss. That's what's so weird about this, you know, is that Bees had all the land. They didn't sell any of it. Where Toll oh. Brothers and um, uh, Lana, they basically, they sold it when it was going down and then they ended up buying it back so much cheaper because, I mean, of course, no one knew that the crash was going to be like a 50% crash, not a, you know, 20% crash. Isn't that right, weird, though? Right. Yeah. But, know. yeah, that, you know, that, you can see it in the stock. You can see the right on the right side where the monthly chart is. Um, it's starting to try to get back to the nine-period moving average. Yeah, this is going to be a very important period because um, there have been areas, uh, for instance, the IBB uh, was really a leader for so long in the, yes. uh, in the market. And then once they got, and I remember talking about this saying here in Kendall Square, where MIT is actually, sure, the land and the buildings, all biotechs and all the companies from Europe, all over the world, in fact, were, were wanting to have their headquarters in Massachusetts. And so that said right. to me, that's that's a real problem because they're going to be overpaying for all their employers, and um, and in fact, you saw what happened. It went from it went from what was that? Uh, we were actually lucky. We were short at that time. 133.60 back in July of 2015 has a little bit of a dip to 80 dollars in February of 2016. So the fund managers are always looking where they can put their money, where they think it's treated them well before, where they can go back. So yeah, I'm looking at the housing housing sector as maybe an area that at least for a little while might have a pretty decent bounce. So one of the other aspects is, you know, we're always looking for that peak D and we got that in the crude oil. Uh, crude oil made a peak D uh, four days ago, just under 73. Yeah, how about that, that oil move, factor. right? And look at the move today, down 4%, down, this is just today down to right. the 67 level, and it's leg D in the um, weekly chart and a leg D in the monthly. So we're going to be watching this closely. And to go with that, this is always, I love this, you've got the, the counterpoint, just like in music with Bach. You always have a counterpoint going in opposite directions. Look at the XAL. The XAL is having a beautiful day today. That's the airline index. Oh, yeah. Really, yeah. Appreci really appreciating the sudden plunge in oil. I'm not totally. sure how long it's going to last. I think crude oil does have that 67, 66 area. There's a lot of support there. So, Basil, it's uh, 7 p.m., uh, the Boston Investors Group, right? The Boston Investors Group, Tuesday. This is Tuesday, May the 29th. And it's in, what did I say it was? I remember 331. Three, three, it's on the third floor. And, uh, yeah, it should, be, it should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, listen, uh, we appreciate all the help at TFNN. We you know, great program, great newsletter. And uh, we... Uh
You have a, a great weekend, safe weekend, Basil, and we look forward to the uh, show uh, that's coming Tuesday. Thank you very much, Tom. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. And, folks, we are going to leave you with our man, Mr. Louis Armstrong, uh, sitting in America the Beautiful for uh, kicking into a Memorial Day. And don't forget, folks, you know, Memorial Day actually started as Declaration Day. It started after the Civil War to honor the Union and Confederate soldiers that died. Bottom line, we have a lot of folks that have died for us over the course of uh, the years in the armed forces. That's what Memorial Day is all about, folks, okay? So remember them. Remember what our country is all about. Take care of it. Vote. Be part of it be all of it, folks, because the bottom line is that uh, this just doesn't happen, uh, you know, when people are asleep at the switch. So bottom line, hope everyone has a great weekend, a safe weekend. And uh, bottom line, um, you know, as you kick into this weekend, no drinking, no driving. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. In liberating strife. Self, their country loved, and the mercy more than life. America.
Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan's most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.